Hello, sports fans, and welcome to this week's Democrat Sports Spotlight. I'm Democrat sports writer Seth Stringer. Joining me today is Smith Cotton head coach Mark Johnson. First off, how are you doing today, coach? Well, it's been a pretty good week so far. Okay. You know, uh, last week we saw a big bounce back for your team in a 34-14 uh, win over center. Defense uh, had allowed 42 and 38 points back-to-back, -back, but uh, clamped down to force three sacks, two turnovers, and a one-for-three red zone conversion from the Yellow Jackets. Uh, led by Connor, Connor Moriarty's four touchdowns, they often, the offense also shined, putting only twice. How big was that win? Well, I thought it was big, for, really big for a football team after, um, you know, as bad as we played for homecoming, for our kids to come out and really uh, play with the intensity and the desire and enthusiasm that uh, we probably haven't seen all year. So hopefully it's, uh, it's a turning point of our season. Uh, you know, we're on that point where we go either direction. I thought our kids really stepped up and uh, started us in the right direction. You know, it helps to get a little momentum uh, with this week facing Class 4 powerhouse Kearney, a program that, that's advanced to state semifinals three of, the four, three of the four past years and won it all in 2009. Uh, this year they've proven beatable at 4-2, and two, but the two losses came to top-ranked Staley and Ozark. Uh, they've also beaten two state-ranked opponents in Winnetonka and Platte, Platte Valley. How good is this team? Well, I guess, you know, we'll really find out. They're, they're a very good football team. Coach Jones does a great job. Uh, defensively, they're always very good in the 3-3 stack. They're going to put a lot of pressure on you. Uh, offensively, they're going, to, they're going to power the ball at you quite a bit and then throw some play action. So, you know, it's going to be a great challenge for a football team. And uh, the advantage is we're playing homecoming. You know how we like to play homecoming. So hopefully you know, that will that'll give us a little bit of advantage that uh, they might overlook us. You talked about their, their great defense. Uh, you know, they've only allowed 13 points per game this year. Uh, they held Staley to 22 points, a team that's averaging 40. You know, how does, how does Connor Moriarty and, and Darian Weeks, how does the offense uh, attack that? Well, I don't want to give away our secrets or anything like that. I mean, we're going to do what we normally do. You know, we've got to get our passing game going. Uh, they bring so much pressure up inside. We have to be able to get outside, but they're very good with their defensive or outside backers keep the inside. So we're going to have our work cut out for us, but we've got some things we've been working on. Uh, you know, we, we definitely have to use our outside threats and Josh Hasselton and, uh, and uh, Shea Buckner to have a chance uh, to move the ball against them. Defensively, you'll go up against quarterback Cole Davis and uh, a backfield led by Morgan Fitzgerald. You know, what's what's the key to expanding on last week's effort? I know their, their offense on paper isn't great, but they don't make mistakes. Only one turnover this year. It seems like they're a pretty efficient ball club offensively. Yeah, they're very sound. Like I said, they're not going to they're not going to beat themselves offensively. They like the kicking game to back you up, defense stop you, run a short field, and, and try to score with that offense. So, you know, hopefully uh, our defense, we, we can't miss tackles. You know, we we, we got to make them drive the, the length of the field and, and eat some clock and, and keep the ball game that way. If we give up big plays, it's going to be a long night. Appreciate your time, Coach, and uh, good luck Friday. All right, thank you.